Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Dotties. My name's Rochelle. I'm your favorite Donna. Gonna give yourself with blush. And today we have a couple of book boxes to open, and I'm so excited. So excited. So we do have our book of the month boxes, but I'm also going to throw in here our Art Bark Book Club box as well. Because somebody asked. Somebody, okay, so an Eagle Eye subscriber of ours. What watched, happened was. She watched our video talking about the five favorite books we read in the month of November. And she noticed that a copy of one of my books was Aardvark. And so I was like, well, yeah, we don't unbox it on camera. But this month I'm going to only because we had an adventure with book of the month this month. So this, this is another what ha happened was. What ha happened was I, I ordered both of our boxes the day that the books dropped and mine got here no problem. But yours took a little detour and decided to get lost at our local post office and I waited a week. They it never moved. It was still stuck there. So I contacted Book of the Month and they were so sweet. They shipped a new box to us. And they said, if your initial box eventually makes its way to you, feel free to do whatever you want with those books, whatever, whatever. And then today, <laughs> it showed up. So originally, it was just going to be my book of the month and Aardvark, but now we're going to have to open all three of them. That's and now true. we're going to have doubles. We are going to. Well, yeah, this, this is actually your original box. So the new shipment should actually be here on Monday. So... Um, yeah, we're going to have duplicates, but that's okay. That's okay. We have plenty of readers in our lives. We can get them too. If you haven't heard of book of the month, they are a monthly book subscription service where they will scour through hundreds of new titles that are coming out and they will choose anywhere from five to seven for their subscribers to go on and pick their book for that month. And they do range from all different genres. So there's something for everybody. And these are all brand new titles and some even early release titles. Like we'll get them a month early before they're released to the public, which is so fun. They also have audiobooks now. And actually, if you use our link down below, you will get your first box for $5 and a free audiobook. Five bucks? Five bucks for a brand new hardcover book. And an audiobook. And an audiobook for free. Wow. So I'm going to leave all of our information down below if you want to check them out. Now, Aardvark is very similar, where they will go through new and upcoming titles, choose five, and then every month you get to go on. And actually, they drop on the first of every month, where Book of the Month will sometimes be like the 28th, 29th of the month prior. But they are always uh, dropped on the first of the month, and you go on, choose your book, and they'll ship it to you. And you can choose up to three um, the other two can be, you know, additional charges, additional fees. And then Book of the Month, you can choose up to five in your box. So, they're pretty much the same. They have completely different titles. And, yeah, I've been with Aardvark off and on for the past year since they launched. I think they launched in October of last year. And I really like their their box design, which is really fun. So, it's anyway. pretty. It is very pretty. We don't have a referral link to them, I don't think. But if I can find one, I'll link it down below. But definitely go check them out. Book of the Month does ship to Canada. That's new. And I don't think book, uh, Aardvark does. But I'll leave them down below if you want to check either of them out. So, do you want to get into our boxes? Yeah. Oh, I need my phone. Oh, no. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? I did. Okay. <laughs> so, I think I chose three books for each of our Book of the Month boxes. So, we're just going to take them out one at a time. And I am so excited for this month's bookmark. I think it is so funny and a little risque, but I think it's so fun. Uh-oh. And because, because, you know, we waited so long to film hoping for your box to show up. I kind of saw all, you know, the spoilers for the bookmark and all that stuff. This elephant got, it was really lost. It took the scenic route. <laughs> There's not much to see at our post office, but okay. It was it was a post office. It was my town. No post office. Okay, so you got it too. So on top, we have a, a sheet of stickers. It says from Book of the Month with Love. These books slay Book of the Month. Holiday thrills and chills. Nice is crossed out and it says naughty. Reading is hot. But these are all bookish related <laughs> stickers, which are so freaking adorable. Reading is hot and it got a snowman sitting in a hot chocolate. <laughs> I think these are fun. Last year they had a sticker sheet very similar, which I really loved. So this will be fun to put in my reading journal. This is No One Can Know by Kate Alice Marshall. Now this is one we both read from this author before. I think you've read more than I have. I think I've only read one from this author. But it is a thriller. It is an early release. I think it comes out in January. 
And the quick take is small town secrets and family tensions are unleashed when a married couple moves into an old home with a bloody past. Cool. Multiple viewpoints, unreliable narrator. Always trust the drunk. <laughs> Nonlinear timeline and marriage issues. It says three sisters, two murders, and too many secrets to count. Uh oh. Whoa. All right. All right. I'm excited for that one. So, the first book that I chose is The Unmaking of June Farrow by Adrienne Young. This is one of my favorite books that I read in November via my library, and I knew I had to own it. Um, so, quick synopsis. What is it? I think it's magical realism, by the way. Let's see. It is fantasy. Oh, it's fantasy. Okay. Determined to break a generational curse, June Farrow ventures through a shimmering door into mystery and romance. And it's good. It, it's romance, underdog, non-linear timeline, and there's a quest. Yes, so they actually have a generations long curse and uh, in their in her family, so June is set to break that curse and it is so it's so good. I mean I go into more detail in our last book video, but I loved it. I had to own it. All right, next we got The Other Mothers by Katherine Faulkner. Thrills mm -hmm. and Chills. Oh, this one sound good. This is a thriller and it says uh, peeking beneath the pleasant veneer of a wealthy suburb, a twisty exploration of the fraught bonds between mothers. Multiple viewpoints, nonlinear timeline. That's like a theme for all these so far. Suburban drama and mama drama. Uh-oh, got that mama drama. And there actually is a blurb from Ashley Audrain, who wrote The Whispers. Oh. And pu uh, put the, the push. push. Oh my gosh, loved both of those. So that's really promising. So, uh oh, when the nanny is found dead under mysterious circumstances, new mom Tash is intrigued. She has been searching for a story to launch her career as a freelance journalist, but she has also been searching for something else, new friends to help her navigate motherhood. Ooh, okay. interesting. All right. See, so, yeah, I do tend to put thrillers in her boxes, even though they're all my books. <laughs> All right, so my next pick is Evil Eye by Etef Rum. This was a, a book from September that, okay, I don't know what this is about. I don't even know what genre it is, but everybody in the book, uh, book of the month page on Facebook was raving about this book. So I felt left out. So it's a contemporary fiction. Okay. Forced to confront past traumas and tensions between community and individuality. A woman attempts a personal reset. Okay. I don't know what about this would be so intriguing, but everybody was just raving about this. And so I was like, well, there's a month where I don't pick a lot of books. I'm going to add it. And well, so it says, out. life is magic. This book is melancholy. Ooh. It's emotional. Oh, it's going to make you cry. That does not necessarily mean it's going to make me cry. Family <laughs> drama, psychological, and... Serious. Oh, it's serious. It's serious. You gonna cry. Probably. <laughs> I mean, you gonna let's cry. Let's be real. I already read this one. Yeah, so this is one that we both read already. <laughs> this, this, this Molly the May. So this is The Mystery Guest by Nita Prose. It is a mystery. It is the follow-up book to The Maid by Nita Prose. And it says in this follow-up to The Maid, Molly Gray may need some help to solve the murder of an acclaimed author at the hotel. It's a light read, underdog, it's whodunit, and it's the second in a series. And like I said, we have both already read this via our library. You uh, rented the ebook. Or in the, I bought I, the ebook. Oh, you bought it? Yeah. Oh. I, I have both The Maid and The Mystery Guest on my Kindle. Uh, I loved The Maid. I actually reread it before this came out, and then I got the audiobook through my library because I, I was so excited. I love Molly the Maid, and this was not a disappointment, I will say. It was really fun. I liked it a lot. So my last book is The Second Chance Year by Melissa Wisner. It's one of them love books. Mm -hmm. Romance. That's what I said. <laughs> one of them love books. And with her life in free fall, a young woman wishes for a redo year and wakes to find, to her surprise, the wish granted. Ooh, okay. And it's social issues female friendships, here's some more family drama, and it's magical. 
And the tagline says, one disastrous year, one magical wish, one chance to change the past. Which this is very much giving me the good part vibes by Sophie Cousins that I read last month that I loved. And because this is like a new year, I'm like, okay, this will be perfect to read at the end of December. It does have a, a little content warning, so check oh. that out before you make up your mind on the book. Interesting. Okay, it says, will a chance to relive her past totally change her future? Maybe. I really like stories like that, I'm finding. <laughs> and then, our bookmarks. Oh, what mine say? <laughs> Same thing, it should. Close to the climax, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little risque. I really like it. I think it's so cute. Um, I love that. Okay, so that was book of the month. Now let's get into Aardvark. And I totally forgot what books I selected. But I love their box. Like, it's so pretty and colorful. It's so fun. So let's see what three books I chose. Because like I said, I forgot. Um, oh, so this is really fun. So every book or every month, they come with this like little postcard. And it'll, it'll show you all of the books that were selected for this current month. And then what does it say on the back? Oh, it has like a little uh, looking back, I guess because it's December, um, of your year in reading, your top three favorites, things like that. Cool. Um, so that's really fun. And then their bookmarks are really colorful and you get one per book that you select and they're just little Aardvark A bookmarks and it just says Aardvark Book Club and it says, please use <laughs> in lieu of a parking ticket or movie stub. <laughs> so I tend to get three books from them every month. So I tend to get three identical ones per box. Okay. Okay. The first one is What Waits in the Woods by Terry Parlotto. All right. This is a thriller. It says, this in this riveting thriller from a new master of suspense, a young dancer's homecoming is marred by grisly discovery and the realization that nothing in her past may be quite what she believed. Interesting. Yeah, it's exactly what it says on the front, on the inside too. So I don't want to read too much into it because I do like mysteries and thrillers like this that I knew nothing about to kind of go into it a little, a little unknown about it. All right. All right. So then the next one is Yours for the Taking by Gabrielle Korn. I believe this is sci-fi. Uh, yeah, it's sci-fi. The year is 2050 in this book. The year is 2050. Ava and her girlfriend live in what's left of Brooklyn. And though they love each other, it's hard to find happiness while the effects of climate change rapidly eclipse their world. Soon it won't be safe outside at all. The only people guaranteed survival are the ones whose applications are accepted to the Inside Project. Ooh, interesting. A, a series of weather-safe city-sized structures around the world. Oh, wow. Okay, so this, I think, will be a lot of time at Comfort Zone, but really fun. I bet one of them gets accepted and the other don't. Probably. What would you do? You'd say, bye-bye. Depends. Are you going to get accepted or am I? <laughs> if I got accepted, you'd be taking my spot. <laughs> All right. And the last one is a thriller, and it is called The Fiction Writer by Jillian Cantor. The inside, it just says, last night I dreamt I went to Malibu again. That's all it says besides a summary. So let's see. Does that have anything that you can share without giving too much away? Um... With as many twists and turns as the California coast, the fiction writer is a thriller that explores the boundaries of creative freedom and whose stories we have the right to tell. Okay, that sounds interesting. I think actually Gabby from Gabby Reads just read this one, um, but I try not to pay too attention to what she was saying about it. But this is a short book. It's less than 300 pages, which is kind of rare, I think. Um, so yeah, the fiction writer. I just love the cover and it looked really good. And then that is the inside That's of the box. That's it. That's everything. All right, I'm going to read this one. <laughs> I already read that one. I'm going to read this one and this one and this one. It's all the thrillers. You yeah. all the thrillers. I'm going to read all these. I got to find them on my Kindle. So here's a look at all of the books from both book subscriptions, Book of the Month and Aardvark Book Club. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if you have read any of these or if you are subscribed to either box. What was your book selection for this month? What'd you um, pick? I'm very excited. Um, the only one that I, well, actually, I've read two. So these two I've already read. So I'm glad I have them in my hands now. I'm so excited to own them and not just rely on my library.
I eventually, this all these books that she's getting is gonna go into her home library. I'm so excited! Eventually, it'll it's happen. gonna happen it'll one happen day. One day. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'm gonna leave all of our uh, links down below for book of the month. Use our link, and you'll get your first book for this month for five dollars and a free audiobook to try that out. So check it out. That's it for us today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.